Hello, welcome back to the channel. I'm Rose of There Goes Rose and today I'm filming my birthday book haul. So it was my birthday last week and I was lucky enough to get quite a few books. I got gifted six books in total. One of those is a book for work though, but we're adding it onto this TBR because I got it around my birthday. So I'm just gonna go through the books I got for my birthday. It'll be quite a short, quick video, but I thought it'd be nice to share and the books I got for my birthday, why I'm excited about them when I plan to read them. The first book on my list is When the Moon Hatched by Sarah A. Parker. Now, uh, many people have heard of Sarah A. Parker. She's a very successful fantasy uh, writer. The cover is absolutely gorgeous. I love this. I've been seeing a lot of hype um, around this, uh, particularly on Instagram and Facebook. Um, and when I read the blurb, it sounded really good. Um, I don't know what a lot of these books are about, it's all by the way, because some of them I've never heard of before, but people bought them maybe because they thought I'd enjoy them. Now this is the first book in a series, in the Moonfall series, and we follow an assassin um, called, I think it's Rave, you pronounce her name, and it's her job to complete orders and never get caught. Um, so she will get given someone to take out, to kill, and um, doesn't really always know why, and she follows that. However, a rival bounty hunter comes onto her patch sort of thing, and uh, I think this is going to stir things up. There are Fae in this. There's a dragon rider, so we've got some dragons, there's some uh, royalty politics in this as well, following a king that's kind of not really looking after his land very well. I've started this book, I am currently around 80 pages in. Um, I'm really enjoying it so far, it's got a female protagonist which I love, she's very kick-ass, very cutthroat, so I'm really here for this. Um, I think I'm going to really enjoy this and I'm looking forward to yeah, finishing it and then continuing on with the series as the books come out. The next book I got gifted was The Treatment by Sarah Moorhead. This is not a book I previously heard of before, um, so I didn't know anything about this when I was given this book. Um, so it says some people want justice, others just want revenge. Already here for it. And the future of law enforcement has arrived courtesy of private health contractor Janus Justice. Their groundbreaking offender treatment program is the most effective me method of tackling crime yet. As offenders move through the four-tiered system, their needs are dealt with each time more drastic in its methods. Um, so tier one, low risk crimes, tier two, trauma and addiction, tier three, aversion therapy and tier four, um, Siberia, where all hope is lost. I think this is going to be an interesting read. I think it's going to be uh, maybe a little bit controversial of a read as well. Um, but I've never kind of heard, I like books set in prisons, but I've never heard of one that, that kind of looks at um the punishment side. So I read a lot of, I read a lot of uh, picture, uh, prison non-fiction, um, so looking at rehabilitation. Um, obviously this is uh, not a non-fiction book, but I'm quite interested to get to it. Um, so I think I'll probably gobble this up as well. The next book on my list is The Power by Naomi Alderman. I have heard of this book, but it wasn't on my radar to purchase anytime soon, but I know it's got really good reviews. Um, so this is a dystopian, I think it's feminist dystopia, let's have a look. Um, so all over the world, women are discovering they have the power. Uh, with a flick of the fingers, they can inflict terrible pain, even death. Suddenly, every man on the planet finds they've lost control. The day of the girls has arrived, but where will it end? So excited for this. It's giving me Handmaid's Tale vibes, but flipped on its head. Here for that. Really excited for this one. The next book on my list is The Way of Kings, uh, which is book one. Um, and it's by Brandison Sanderson, a very well-known author must admit the size of this book scares me a little bit. Um, if I see anything over 600 pages, I'm always a little bit put off. Uh, I think this is, yeah, we're well over a thousand pages with this one. Um, however, I know that so many people on Booktube rave about this series and I've never actually read Brandon Sanderson. So it's probably about time I gave him a go. So storm ravaged a war-torn Russia, lost its protectors, the Knights Radiant, centuries ago. But now a new danger is arising and new heroes must be found to meet it. A soldier fighting on the shattered plains, a general seeing visions of the past, and a clever scholar seeking an opportunity are about to discover their are about to discover their world is greater, more mysterious, and in more peril than they could ever have imagined. Brandon Sanderson, a classic. Uh, if you've read any of these, by the way, do let me know what you think or which one you think I should get to first. Um, the next book I found myself. 
Um, it's called We Are Fungi. It's a little children's graphic novel by Christine uh, Nishiyama. I think I'm pronouncing her surname right. Um, I've already read this. I found this in a book swap when I went away for my birthday in Little Dean, uh, just near outside of the Forest of Dean. Um, and this is a lovely illustrated graphic novel for children all about mushrooms. So um, it has lots of little facts, the illustrations are gorgeous, and it tells you about where fungi comes from, where we find it, how it grows, that we can find it on our sandwiches or walks in the woods. Um, and it's just, yeah, it's really interesting for, for little brains. Um, however, I've got a collection because um, I'm really into foraging and, and particularly I like uh, kind of mushrooms and I've got a whole room dedicated to foraging in my house. Um, and in that room, I've got books around foraging or hiking, walking, adventure books, those kind of things. And I thought this would be perfect on that shelf to add to my collection. The very last book is not really a birthday I, a book, it's not a book I got for my birthday, but it's one I'm adding to the list. It's called Poems Aloud and it's by Joseph Cahello. And um, this is a book I need to read for work. So I work for a local festival and I look after the community programme and we're currently doing some work around the Blue Peter Badge. And this is one of the books um, that children can read to then apply for their readers, Blue Peter Batch. So we're doing lots of work around this book. So obviously I need to read the book <laughs> to, to, to do the best job of my job. Um, I'm really excited for this. It's got lots of poems um, in there and it even tells you how to kind of read poems or listen to poems. For, for example, this one. It's called The Bear and it says some poems sound best when read slowly. Take your time, pause and breathe to add emphasis. So there's little instructions to the poems and um, it's very lovely illustrated. So I'm looking forward to getting to this one too. So that's it for my birthday book haul. There is a dog behind me. <laughs> She's not stole the show as much today, but she is there in a little chair in my office. Um, which book do you think I should do? <laughs> You would feel. Which book do you think I should get to first? Have you read any of them? If so, do leave me a comment down below. Thanks for stopping by and I hope you have a really lovely day.